Well, good morning guys. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Hook Kayak Fishing Scotland. And we've changed the venue this week. It has been a couple of weeks since I was last out. And today we're at Dunbar. Picturesque fishing village or fishing town. And uh, yeah, beautiful morning. Light winds forecast. And a bit of sunshine for a change. Just offshore from Dunbar, uh, probably about a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile. Just drift in to see if we can get any codlin. Uh, I haven't fished here for about 20 years, uh, and the last time I fished here I was on a charter boat. So I've got no idea of the marks, although I've looked on Navionics, and uh, I mean it's seriously rough ground and it's strewn with uh, lobster pots so we'll see how we get on uh, we'll try a few marks that I've got in mind just by looking on the charts uh, but it's been two weeks since I've been out and it's just good to be back on the water the weather in Scotland has been absolutely atrocious over the last few weeks heavy winds uh, heavy rain consistently for nearly two weeks and this is the first weekend that we've had a bit of a break uh, it's Sunday the 8th of September and it's turned out to be a beautiful morning the weather's supposed to be sunny most of the day as I said earlier but uh, and light winds, although the winds are supposed to be picking up towards late afternoon but I'll probably be going in about that time, maybe about 5 o'clock uh, the swell, the swell was quite big, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be and it could be quite tricky going back into the harbour because it's only a narrow entrance and it'll be lower tide, the waves will be breaking early uh, so yeah, <laughs> that could be fun. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be a kayak fail. But let's see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm just checking out some areas here to see what there is. Just a change of venue. Normal venue, I go to Torness. Uh, that's a power station in the distance. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, probably about five mile away, six mile, about five mile at the most so it's just good to try somewhere different oh. First fish of the day. A wee codlin on the modified Hawkeye. <clears throat> uh, 
Well, it's been a bit quiet, guys. Uh, two little codling I've had. One's probably just oversized and one's undersized. But I'm not going to take anything that's too small. I like to at least be about five centimetres over. Oh, that's one. And that was on the Hawkeye, modified Hawkeye with a little spinner blade. And I'll just give this a measure. Well over <laughs> 35 centimetres and it's over 44, 45. So because that's well over, I'll be taking this one. Not too bad. A nice little fillet off that. Okay, sorry I didn't get the camera on in time, but I got it in the end. A lovely little male cuckoo ras. Beautiful colours in it. It's the first wrasse I've had in six trips to the east coast, which is very unusual. Usually the wrasse are quite prolific, especially because they're fishing over such rough ground. Oh, that was... It felt like it was straight on top of its head. Yep. Yeah. I think this is a macro. Oh no, a little codling. A baby. That was a big wheel.
Well guys, uh, that wasn't a very successful trip. Uh, only had a few small codlin. Uh, kept one of them, which was uh, about 45, 46 centimetres. But really poor. The clarity of the water was a bit murky, close in, had to go out deeper. Uh, found a little reef uh, and that's, that was most successful but do you know what it's been over two weeks since I've been fishing and I was just so glad just to get out uh, get a bit of fresh air it's a beautiful day the wind never came too much but this swell uh, as you can see, it was only supposed to be four feet high for the waves, and some of them are about ten feet high. But good old Hobie, I feel safe as anything in this. And uh, yeah, what can I say? So coming back into. Uh, Dunbar Harbour Very narrow entrance to the harbour but it's a beautiful harbour you know it's so idyllic it's got a lot of history but anyway guys not even sure if I'm going to post this video as there's not much content in terms of fishing. But uh, if I do, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time on Hoot Kayak Fishing Scotland.